there's some kind of ghost, some kind of life form, some kind of something that appears in the sky and you have no idea what it is. In optics I uh, use a lot of simulation programs and in the simulation programs we model uh, tiny spots and uh, the tiny spots are like the fundamentally small spots an optical system can create and I was intrigued by how these spots look they have uh, optical aberrations as we call them they have a shape uh, or like a 3d shape and uh, the shape mesmerized me and I've been if I started looking for uh, like the, the shapes that came out of my optical modeling software I tried to reproduce them as a work of art I used cyanotype as it is a very easy way to uh, register light on paper and it's very clean you don't need a dark room it's just very uh, convenient a process for it I have to program the shapes and it has a simulation thing that I can see what shape it will be uh, but there's a big difference between the shape that my simulation shows me and the shape that will actually be the cyanotype the cyanotype integrates during half an hour and my simulation doesn't show that so I always have to guess a bit and I think the guessing uh, and the, the feeling I have with the software and how I create a shape that is in the end somewhat aesthetically pleasing uh, yeah that's that's my part of the magic and that's uh, something I've been training for I've made like 300 cyanotypes so far um, that's that's where the magic happens and it's uh it's kind of a slow process i need to program wait an half an hour see if it's good change it uh, try again and uh, that gets me through the day i uh i take a photograph print it on a a3 contact sheet and then i use my tanning bed um, to uh, make a cyanotype of the negative of the contact print and that's how I make photos in cyanotypes and then I do an extra step where I put it in front of the laser and I laser uh, shape into the picture uh, it very much relates to how I see the the laser images and what we call flukes or flukes uh, when I put them over photographs, they really get into their identity as to as being a, a ghost appearing somewhere in the sky. Oh yeah, this in the, what's in the background is uh, a few of my first uh, laser refract refractometry shots. Um, they're not cyanotypes, but they're photographs, analog photographs that I made of a of a laser in which I put uh, like pieces of glass, and the pieces of glass warp the laser signal because it's three lasers in one, like RGB, so three colors. Uh, the colors shift through the shape and give uh, kind of ethereal atmosphere. <laughs>